Hello students and thank you all for coming to this virtual college fair. You can ask questions to the panelists at any time using the Q&A button. Your camera and microphone are off so you are muted and they cannot hear you. A recording of this session will be available uh, very quickly in the next couple of days. And so now I will turn it over to our panelists. And first up, we have Lenore Ryan University. Great, share my screen. So thank you. My name is Sarah Holler. I'm an enrollment counselor at Lenore Ryan University. Um, I work with Western North Carolina, South Carolina, and all of our Tennessee students. So I will be your point of contact throughout this process. Um, we are located in Hickory, North Carolina. So we're not too far in, we're about an hour from Asheville or Boone um, and also an hour from Charlotte. So we're kind of in between those two bigger areas. Uh, we are a smaller private liberal arts school. And what that means is that's just a different way that we're going to make you a well-rounded student when you graduate. Uh, don't let those words intimidate you and also don't let it intimidate you that we are out of the state of Tennessee. Since we are a private school, we do not do in-state or out-of-state tuition. It's all accounted for it the same way. So to get started, a couple kind of fast facts slide that I've got. Um, we are also open for on-campus and virtual sessions. So I know this is kind of that college fair setting. However, if you want to learn more or even take a road trip and come see campus, you're more than welcome to. I encourage you to. Um, but if you can't come in, we are doing virtual tours, so you can do that with a um, current student and then followed by a one-on-one -on -one conversation with myself. We, as I mentioned, we're smaller, so we have about 17 in average class. For me personally, my big class while I was there was about 25 to 30 students, and I was getting into my major. I had anywhere from maybe 8 to 10 students. We have around 30 countries represented on campus and around 40 states. So even though we're the smaller classes, smaller campus, we still have a wide variety of different individuals that you'll meet while you're here. And with that, I always tell a student, you're gonna meet someone you know on campus, but you're also gonna see new faces when you're walking across between classes. We have 60 plus student organizations on campus. That list is always changing because students have the ability to create new organizations as they attend. We are a division two school and we participate in the South Atlantic Conference. Um, that's just how we compete with NCAA and we have around 23 athletic teams. We overall have most anything, um, two of the big ones we don't have are field hockey and um, wrestling, but otherwise we're pretty much have everything. Um, we have football, men's and women's lacrosse, soccer, basketball, um, softball, anything like that. We're located, as I mentioned, in the Hickory area. That comes with different activities for students to do and different discounts um, and perks. We also have a minor league baseball team in the area that do different LR nights and different perks for us. The biggest thing I do encourage you to do is submit an application to us. Um, our application is super simple. It is just a question, kind of question form and then you submit a high school transcript. So that is a complete application for us. We do not require essays, resumes, or anything like that. We also have gone test optional this year. However, if you have your test scores, you feel really good about them, be sure to send those in. I encourage you to do so. They won't hurt you this year, but be sure to have everything included. Once we have a complete application from you, then we're able to review that application. So with that, you'll see to the right the two dates that are coming up. So our first deadline is actually tomorrow and our second is in November. What these are is it's faster ways we can give you information and let you know the decision from LR. So if we have a complete application by October 23rd now, you'll have a decision from us as close to the end of this month as we can. And then for November, the same situation, you'll have your decision by the end of, this, of the month of November. So like I said, send in your application. We do have a waiver fee that I've listed, or fee waiver, excuse me, that I've listed on the screen, which is LR Bear 21. Be sure to use that. That can be used at any time for our application to waive that application fee for you. And that way you can submit everything. Um, additionally, I, like I mentioned, I am the enrollment counselor that works with Tennessee students. So I've included my contact information on this slide. So be sure to take a picture or screenshot of it uh, and I'm happy to help answer questions for you throughout this whole process. 
Um, additionally, one thing I do want to point out for students is, as I mentioned, we are out of state for you guys, but we are still kind of attainable since we don't do an in-state or out-of-state tuition. With that being said, all students upon acceptance receive some sort of financial aid or scholarship um, as soon as they are accepted with us. I know that's a lot, um, quite a few. So if you think of anything while we're going through it all, be sure to send that in our Q&A and we're happy to help answer those tonight um, while we're in this session. And as I mentioned too, if you are interested, be sure to schedule a one-on-one -on -one session with me. I'm happy to talk through this whole process with you and be a resource for you from now until you join our Lenora and Bear family next fall. Thank you. Great, thank you so much, Sarah. And up next we have Virginia Tech. Perfect. Thank you so much. Well, welcome everybody. My name is Jasmine Montano Aguilar, and I am one of the admissions counselors here at Virginia Tech. Specifically for all of you Tennessee students that are here, I will be your main point of contact. To get started, Virginia Tech is located in Blacksburg, Virginia, known as a gem of the Southwest Virginia area, and it is described as welcoming, safe, and connected. Our Blacksburg campus is also described as a rural college town. Here, our students can enjoy outdoor activities such as biking, hiking, tubing, and fishing, just to name a few. However, if you are not that outdoorsy student, don't worry. We have over 900 student organizations and a lot of other activities that you can become part of to make sure that you experience the full Virginia Tech experience. Virginia Tech was originally founded as an all-male military institute back in 1872. Today we are one of six senior military academies and only one of two public institutions that have a corps of cadet. Our students are not all required to become a cadet. However, if you are interested in enlisting into the military after graduation, or you are looking to gain valuable leadership skills to use at your first job, you can join the Corps of Cadet through two different tracks. One of them is a military track, which has commitment to the military, and the other one is a citizen leader track, which has no commitment to the military, and you use those leadership skills straight at your first job. One of the main features of Virginia Tech that you will not see at other schools is our commitment to service and to each other as a community. Our motto, oop prosum, that I may serve says it all. We dedicate our research, our teaching, and our co-curricular activities to enhance the human condition. Now, when I say the human condition, that includes people from all walks of life. We are fortunate enough that we are a global land grant university serving the world. And the spirit of oop prosum lives within our commitment to inclusion and diversity with an inclusive VT. And we actually do have about six cultural centers that will help all of our students make sure that they feel like they're at home. Here's a um, 2020 first year snapshot with some of our top majors being general engineering, business, biology, architecture, and psychology. But I'll talk a little bit about the engine, uh, about all of our programs that we have in the next slide. We are considered a large research public institution having a little over 36,000 students, both graduate and undergraduate students. However, you still have a 14 to one student faculty ratio, which means that you still get a small school feel even being in a bigger school. Most of your major classes tend to be small, and then most of your general education courses do tend to be a little bit bigger, but they're still capable enough for you to have a one on one interaction with your professor and your fellow peers. Now, your success really does start with picking an academic major. And at Virginia Tech, major really does matter. You're strictly applying directly into the major that you're looking to go into. We have a total of nine colleges and a graduate school, including a School of Medicine, which is located in Roanoke, Virginia, about 20 to 30 minutes away from us. And then we also have a College of Veterinary Medicine, which is located here in our Blacksburg campus. Within all of these opportunities, you have over 100 majors to choose from to see which major you're really gonna go into. Now, if you're the type of student that really does not know what major they wanna dedicate themselves to, that's perfectly fine. We have an overall undeclared, undecided over the university studies field. It is a very small school. However, it is very competitive. So I encourage students that if you know that you've always wanted to be an engineer, but you just don't know exactly what engineering program you wanna to commit to, you can apply into engineering or any other college 
college that we have as an undecided, undeclared under their college specifically. Now, how to apply. We do have this year specifically part of the coalition application and part of the common application. You just have to fill out one of them and just the key is to submit it on time. How do we review applications? We review them in a holistic manner, meaning that there's an academic portion that we review, but then there's also a personal portion that we want to know about you. Going straight into the academic portion, we actually do not accept official test scores and official transcripts. What we will make you do is make sure that you submit a self-reported academic record, meaning that you will self-report your test scores and self-report your transcripts. Within your transcripts, we will look at your academic rigor. We wanna know if you've taken APs, IBs, dual enrollments, and if you have, have you been successful in them and getting A's and B's. This year specifically, we are going test optional for our seniors. So if you haven't taken the test or you just don't feel comfortable submitting your test score, that's perfectly fine. You can go ahead and go test optional. And we do not accept letters of recommendation or resumes. However, we do wanna know your extracurricular activities. So make sure that you include that in your application. And then the second portion is more of your personal portion. That is through our four supplemental OOT PROSM essay questions. We actually don't read the common application essay or the coalition essay, but we do read these four OOT PROSM essay questions and they're gonna be very critical for your application. Some of the deadlines that we do have is early decision, which is a binding contract, and that application deadline is November 1st. Early action, which is a priority deadline, and that deadline is December 1st, which is the one I always recommend students to apply. And then we do have some university scholarships and financial aid, and that application is due January 22nd. It's the FAFSA and the general scholarship application. If you do have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat, and I will be able to answer any of them, or you can always email me. Thank you. Thank you so much. And up next, we have University of Alabama. Hi, my name is Megan Schuler. I am the University of Alabama regional recruiter. Um, I'm going to pop my slideshow up if it won't freeze. Um, so we are located in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, about 45 minutes south of Birmingham. We are the flagship institution of the state. Um, around us, there is a number of there is a number of lakes and hiking opportunities if you wish to be outdoors. Um, our campus is a large campus. We have We have about 38,000 students on our campus, um, 32,000 of which are undergraduates. They make up and represent all 50 states. Um, we actually have a large majority of students that come from the state of Tennessee. So it's definitely something that you potentially could see um, a fellow face, meet new people, all if you would like to, or you have that opportunity to absolutely meet somebody new every day. Our 2020 freshman class um, was an exceptional group of students. They still are. They had about a 3.8 average GPA. 43% um, actually had a 4.0 coming out of high school. 40% scored a 30 or higher. And a lot of that is in part to our merit-based scholarships that we offer. We had 221 national merit scholars on, uh, in this class and we have about 700 on our campus currently. So as far as undergraduate admissions, our applications are open. We work off of rolling admissions. We have, however, have priority dates. So some of those dates would be the January 15th to have priority consideration for scholarships. To apply, you can go to gobama.ua.edu backslash apply. We do need your application, an application fee of a $40 payment or a fee waiver. And then we need your official high school transcript. If you wish to apply with your test scores, ACT or SAT, we do accept both. You're more than welcome to. However, it is not required this year for our seniors for the fall of 2021 class. We are test optional and we still do not require essays or recommendation letters. We have 70 undergraduate degree programs. We have a lot of nationally ranked um, programs such as our public relations and advertising one. We have 12 schools and colleges. We have a number of honors programs on our campus. And therefore, we also have a lot of undergraduate research opportunities and study abroad. We've actually sent about 1,500 students in the past year, um, before uh, 2020, um, to over 300 different locations and very unique experience in each individual one. Some of those merit-based scholarships that we were talking about would be these. These are actually um, awarded strictly off of your ACT or SAT scores and your GPA. 
they're not competitive. So if you're looking to really lessen the cost of going out of state, this is definitely a great opportunity if you've already taken the ACT or SAT. However, if you have not had that opportunity, we do have options um, to offset some of that cost as well. And these would be based off of your scholarship application. So I really encourage you to sell yourself um, and really and truly let us know why you're the most deserving of this. To make, again, the most of your admissions process with the University of Alabama, some important dates to remember um, would be that January 15th deadline of the competitive scholarship application. You're still eligible for merit-based scholarships after that date up until May 1st, but if you want to be made eligible for the most money, that's definitely your best way of doing it. If you have any questions about the University of Alabama, I definitely encourage you to reach out. Um, we can always talk one-on-one -on -one about additional opportunities unique to you. Thanks. Thank you. And up next, we have the University of Arkansas. All right, thanks so much. So my name is also Megan and I am with the University of Arkansas. I'm sure that gets shared. Awesome. Um, so we are the uh, land grant flagship university for the state of Arkansas and we are located in Fayetteville, which is in the northwest corner of the state. Uh, if you're not familiar with Fayetteville, we are actually the number four place to live in the entire United States. So it really is uh, a great place to call home, a great place to go to school. Um, and there's a lot of reasons why we are the number four place uh, to live. There's tons of restaurants and shopping, and uh, it really is just a vibrant college town. Um, but we're also nationally ranked because a little tiny company called Walmart is in the area. And so Walmart is providing incredible opportunities for our students. And I think it's one of the most unique things about our university. So Walmart requires every single retailer they work with to have an office in the Northwest Arkansas area. Now, what that's going to mean for you as a student is there are over 325 Fortune 500 companies within a 45 minute drive of campus. Uh, now, there's only one city in the world that matches our density of Fortune 500 companies, and that city is New York City. Uh, so for you to be able to be in Northwest Arkansas in the middle of the Ozark Mountains with so many different outdoor opportunities available to you and have the same opportunities you could have in New York City, I think is, uh, I think is super unique. Um, and you're really just going to have a lot of opportunities for that experiential learning, internships, uh, and things like that. Now, in addition to what's going on on our campus, of course, um, we do have a lot, or in our city, we do have a lot going on on our campus as well. So we do have over 400 registered student organizations. That's going to range from anything from Greek life, pre-professional societies, political, religious, cultural organizations. You can get pretty uh, unique with the things you're involved in. So we even have the I Heart Dr. Pepper Club, Super Smash Brothers Club, uh, things like that. Uh, you're also going to have a lot of opportunities in the classroom. So we do have 200 academic programs. About 100 of those are undergraduate majors. A few highlights of our program. Uh, we are in the top 30 business schools in the entire country. Uh, so a lot of students will come to us for that. We're also a nationally ranked engineering program with 12 different disciplines. Uh, and then our School of Nursing actually has a 100% job placement rate after graduation. Uh, and so those are some highlights. But again, uh, about 100 different majors and minors that you can choose from here on, on our campus. Now, while we are a large state university, uh, we do try to keep this class sizes as small as possible. Our student to faculty ratio is 18 to one, and the majority of our classes enroll no more than 30 students. As I mentioned, we are a large school. So we have about 28,000 students on our campus. About 22,000 of those are going to be undergraduate students. You're probably gonna have a freshman class somewhere around 4,800 students. You can see a picture there of uh, our, our Razorbacks as a D1 SEC school. Uh, we, we love our sports and that's definitely a big part of our campus culture and the tradition to come out and call the hogs, especially now that we're winning a few football games. We're excited about that. Um, I'm really jealous of students because you all actually would get to take part in an all-inclusive student athletic pass. Gets you into every single home game for every sport for just $85. Uh, that's more affordable than two football tickets. So it's definitely something you'd want to take advantage of once you are on our campus. You're also going to have a lot of opportunities to go elsewhere in the world. So we are in the top five study abroad programs with 1300 study abroad programs in about 57, uh, 57 different countries. You can go anywhere except for Antarctica to have a, a world class experience. 
I want to make sure I get to uh, talk about this. Uh, so this is uh, the most important scholarship opportunity for our out of state students, uh, specifically for Tennessee, we're going to offer you up to 90% off of that additional out of state tuition. Now, normally there would be a GPA and a test score requirement. However, for 2021 applicants, uh, it is just the GPA. So again, that's called our non-resident tuition award or NRTA. You can go to our website to learn more information, but just know if you have a 3.6 weighted GPA, you're automatically going to qualify for almost $15,000 a year. Um, and so this is a great way to save money when you're coming out of state. Now, these are some of our priority deadlines. Our priority application deadline is November 15th. We do admit on a rolling basis, so we are admitting new students every single day. Uh, and you'll want to get that application in as soon as possible so you can go ahead and begin that scholarship application. My contact information is listed there. If you need anything at all down the line, please don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have a great day and go Hogs. Great. And up next, we have Illinois Wesleyan University. All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Andrew Starnes, and I am regional mission prep for Illinois Wesleyan University. Um, always uh, enjoy getting a chance to uh, talk with students, definitely miss it in person, but virtual is the next best thing that we could do. So thanks so much again for tuning in. And I'm especially excited to get the opportunity um, to talk to East Tennessee students tonight because I am based in East Tennessee. So I uh, do live in Greenville. Um, so looking forward to getting a chance to introduce you all a little bit to IWU. Now we were recently named in the top 10, uh, being the, in the top 10 of job placement schools and also recently named the hidden gem in the Midwest. So hope we'll learn some good things about our school. So we've got about 1700 undergrads. We are a smaller liberal arts university. If you're considering a smaller university, we'd definitely love for you to keep us in mind. Um, we are in Bloomington, Illinois, so we're about two and a half hours south of Chicago. Um, since we've got a smaller um, student population, you're not going to see the large stadium uh, style seating uh, that you see here. Um, so there won't be any large lecture halls. It'll be a lot less lecture and more discussion at our school. Um, not afraid to take classes outside when it's pretty and, uh, you know, just be as small classrooms as we can so that way you can get the most uh, out of your um, experience by getting questions answered by your faculty, being able to engage with peers a lot easier. Um, there's just a lot of big pluses about the smaller classroom sizes. Um, we are broken up into three main uh, colleges, College of Fine Arts. If we have any strong fine arts, especially theater, we have nationally ranked theater programs, musical theater, um, also art and music as well. Uh, we do have a School of Nursing at almost two decades of 100% uh, job placement. And also our College of Liberal Arts contains majority of our majors, over 80 different major minor combinations. Um, we do consider ourselves a growing diverse campus. We take a lot of the pride of the diversity. Uh, we've got about almost a third of students of color on campus. And then we even have our own office devoted to it, Office of Diversity and Inclusion, or referred to as ODI on campus. Um, we try to do everything we can to look out for all students of background and be a very welcoming atmosphere, um, no matter what your background may be. Um, interfaith campus across the board, um, do specialized graduations for student uh, populations and have a pre-orientation uh, orientation for students of color. That way, make sure we're taking care of everyone on that side. And even for our first gen uh, Pell eligible students, just trying to make the school be uh, affordable and welcoming for all. Um, campus law. Got over 120 different student organizations. Um, so varying different types, big and small. We do have Greek life on campus. Um, we do have uh, our students live on campus the first three years. So we were very much a residential college. Um, so you'll actually have traditional residence halls, um, suite style, community style and apartment style, and also the Greek life and theme houses. So there's a lot of different ways um, to meet that criteria of being on campus. We are D3 NCAA. So if there are recruiting interest definitely feel free to reach out to the coaching staffs to talk more about that. Um, we have recruiting forms on our athletic page and we even have esports. So if we have students that are gamers, want to potentially be recruited at that, we do have scholarship opportunities for our esports interest students. Um, I mentioned a little bit about financial aid already, but we want to try to be very affordable for everyone. So don't let the fact that we're a private school in the North and Tim Dechi from applying over 95% of our students will receive some type of financial aid. We do give out a merit scholarship that goes as high as 34,000 renewable each year based on your GPA and scores. Uh, previous uh, average last year from the 2020 class was a 3.8. 
GPA 27 ACT, 12, 10 SAT. So if you fall in that range or higher, you're going to be looking at one of the higher side of the scholarship opportunities. Plus this year we are test optional. So if any students have not been able to take their scores, um, get their tests taken care of, um, we will be able to work with you ideally to get you accepted and still get your financial aid. Um, so we are on the Common App. So for any seniors out there, we would love for you to start applying. Uh, we have our free application internally, Common App. Uh, we try to keep the app per, uh, process uh, very easy and straightforward. Early decision it will be coming in about a month. So uh, start trying to get everything taken care of. We are going to have a virtual open house as well. So if you like the information you're getting tonight, tune in in just a few weeks on November 14th. Uh, that'll be a great way for you to continue to build on experience from Illinois Wesleyan. And of course, I will be here to help you out along the way. Um, this is my main contact information. Um, again, my name is Andrew Starnes. And I am a regional counselor for the South. Um, you can reach me at astarnes at iwu.edu or at 309-706-6524. Thanks so much for tuning in again, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Great. Thank you, Andrew. And last but not least, we have Sweet Briar College. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Jesse Pugh, Senior Admissions Counselor here at Sweet Briar. Um, Sweet Briar College is an all women's school. We were founded in 1901 and our first class graduated in 1906. So we've been educating women leaders since before women had the right to vote. Um, we are located just outside Lynchburg, Virginia. We're about five hours from Knoxville, so not too terribly far from you all. Um, we are on about 3,000 acres, so we're kind of in our own little bubble, um, but that's really great. Uh, we have a living laboratory on our campus. Um, a lot of our students do research out and about in the fields around campus, um, regardless of their major. Um, we're intentionally small. We have about 400 students total, um, and our average class size is about seven or eight students. So there's a lot of great one-on-one -on -one attention, um, and most of our students live on campus. We do provide housing all four years for students. We have 20 undergraduate programs, including several pre-professional programs, and we also have a Master's of Arts in Teaching, which is a co-ed uh, master's program. And we are one of two women's colleges that are ABET accredited, meaning students who um, major in engineering graduate with an engineering degree. You don't have to go on to get your master's um, to actually practice engineering. Uh, we updated our calendar system a few years ago. So instead of having two typical 15 week semesters like you have at most institutions, um, we have broken that up into a 3 12 12 3. So you take one class every day during those three week sessions, and then you take four or five classes like you would at any other institution during those 12 week sessions. So if there's a class that you really want to be able to focus on, or um, you want to do a study abroad class, or maybe um, do some individual research, you can do that during the three week without it taking up a whole chunk of your time um, during the 12 week sessions. We have also redone our general studies requirements um, and have switched it over to the leadership core. So students take the same 10 classes spread out over their four years, instead of you taking two history, two math, two English of your choosing. Um, but these classes are all interdisciplinary. Um, what is called women and gender in the world. So it helps or it talks about women leaders throughout the world, whether they are a police chief or if they are a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Um, and we actually bring it those people into the classroom to chat with our students. Another one is called women, or dollars and cents. So it's about personal finance and understanding economics. So um, they're really helpful to really prepare you to be a leader after graduation. We of course have an academic resource center and career services that help support our students throughout their whole time here at Sweetbriar. Um, and then 90% of our students are either employed full time or have gone on to graduate school within six months of graduation. Um, our alumni are fantastic and love supporting our students. So they always like to come back, let us know about what internships they have available at their companies, um, what jobs have opened. Um, so our students kind of get first dibs on some of those. We have a lot of leadership opportunities. Um, this is just a selection of our um, clubs on campus, but students are also welcome to bring clubs from high school to campus with them. Um, and every student is automatically a member of our Student Government Association. You don't have to opt into it. Everybody gets the emails, everybody gets updated on what's going on. Um, so everybody has a voice. Uh, we are a Division Three school. Uh, we have seven 
uh, athletic teams that compete in the Old Dominion Athletic Conference. They're all pictured here, so you don't miss out on any. Uh, and we are also we also have two equestrian programs. So um, if you're interested in either riding horses because you've done it for years, or if you want to learn how to ride, we can do that as well. Uh, we also have an equine study certificate. So if you're interested in barn management or coaching um, at our four equestrians, um, you can do that certificate. It equates to a minor here at Sweet Briar. Uh, we are a private school, so there's no in-state versus out-of-state tuition. Everybody pays the same. Tuition this year is about $36,000. Um, we do award merit scholarships to all of our students just based off your high school GPA and or your test scores. We are test optional if you have a 3.0 or higher GPA. Um, and 99% of our students receive some sort of financial aid, whether that's just the merit scholarship or also includes federal aid from the FAFSA. Um, the application process, completely free. You can apply on our website or through Common App, whichever is easiest for you. And we don't require any letters of recommendation or personal essays. We really just need your high school transcript. Um, and if you um, would like to send your test scores or if you don't quite have a 3.0 GPA, we would like to see your test scores. Um, if you're not quite there and haven't been able to take the SAT this year, we may accept um, a letter of recommendation or a personal essay instead of those test scores. Um, and we have a few different deadlines here. Early decision is coming up on November 1st. Early action is December 1st, um, but we are rolling admission all the time. So you can apply whenever you'd like. And if you'd like to come visit campus, and I really hope you do, um, we have both virtual tours and in-person visits scheduled throughout the week and on select Saturdays. Uh, and we also have an open house coming up on November 14th, um, but that is in person. Uh, we are in person this fall. So um, since we're such a small school, we were actually able to offer single rooms to all of our students um, and have had a lot of in a few in-person in events um, on campus for our prospective students. So I hope you'll come visit. Thanks so much. Thank you panelists and thank you students for joining us. Um, after you close the window, there will be a quick four question survey. We appreciate any feedback you may have and this recording will be available sooner rather than later. So look out for that and it'll be on the StriveScan website. Um, thank you all for coming and have a great rest of your night.